my version of Peter Vincent is rather different. He's a he's a um, an illusionist with a show at the Hard Rock in Vegas. Uh, he's quite a celebrity. I, I I think he's probably seen slightly better days um, than when we finally meet him in this in, in, in the in the film. But he's certainly you know he's uh, yeah he's 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 a He's not quite at the top of his game, but he's not, he's not quite hit rock bottom just yet, at least not professionally, although in his personal life, things are a bit bleak. We don't shy away from the, from the big, scary uh, horror movie moments. They're all in there. Um, but there's also, there's also a, a, a fun about it and a, and a knowingness about it at times. Um, without deconstructing what is essentially still a, a, an exciting horror film. His situation is larger than life already in that he's, uh, he's on stage at the Hard Rock doing this um, Grand Guignol uh, show, which is slightly preposterous and yet absolutely rooted in the kind of things you might see if you went to see a magic show in Vegas. So uh, I think they're, they're all reference points that people will get, but it's just great to get to play a character that has that scope and, and that does things that are, that, that are as extreme and unusual as that. You get, to, you know, the, the, the clothes you get to wear and, the, and the, uh, the sort of world that this man lives in, this, this uh, rather pampered and, and uh, exclusive existence that he lives at the penthouse at the top of the Hard Rock Hotel. Charlie basically bluffs his way into a, a dress rehearsal of Peter Vincent's show. Um, and by pretending to be a newspaper man, he, he manages to bluff his way into Peter's penthouse uh, to interview him about vampires. Uh, Peter, I suspect, just quite likes the idea of not having to drink alone. So uh, it doesn't take that much persuasion to allow Charlie uh, to come and sit with him. Uh, Quite quickly, he realises that Charlie isn't who he says he was, and, and he's quite keen to get rid of him. Uh, but Charlie starts to talk about things that, that have resonances for Peter that uh, take him to places he doesn't like to go to. Uh, so Charlie becomes a, a wake-up call for Peter eventually.